Hey guys, Ben with, uh, from Design3 here with Mark Essen talking about his game Needhog. Great to have you. Uh, so what, what were the first video games you started playing and uh, what were some of your favorite games of all time? Um, I don't know, like Contra and platformers like that, nice. Mario of course. Yeah. Um, I grew up with the Super Nintendo, so I guess it's sort of that catalog of games. Right. Cool. And uh, how did you first get started in video game development? Um, I got started with RPG Maker, which is a, another free software um, for making like RPG games, like Japanese RPGs. Um, then I found Game Maker, which is what I use now. And, yeah, I've just been using the same program for like eight years, I guess. So uh, Needhog was built on Game Maker? Right, yeah. Game Maker 8 I started with version 3. Cool. Uh, so what is the current game project you're working on? You want to tell us about that? Uh, well, we're still working on Needhog. Um, trying to get some multiplayer in and some other like extra stuff. Um, besides that, I'm working on a, a book game maker, book game game maker, oh, cool. software. Um, so like, for all these old games by Alfred Leonardi, but were like two books you play, sort of choose your adventure style okay, from different perspectives. Um, trying to like make a system to make games like that. That's awesome. Computers. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cool. Uh, what would you say like a typical day of game development work is like for you? Uh, right now I'm also in school, so it's sort of go to school for eight hours and come home and program until I like, fall asleep. Um, so, nice. yeah. And then do it all again the next day? Yeah, I've been doing it all myself, so I can always switch up the jobs. And one day I'm doing sound stuff, one day is like programming, one day might be graphics. So it's, it keep, you know, it stays interesting. That's cool. So are you working on it by yourself, or do you have a team helping you? Uh, I'm doing it all by myself. The music's a friend of mine, um, so we sort of collaborate on that sporadically. Um, how do you go about starting a game, like the beginning stages of designing and planning? Um, I don't know. I guess usually I think of like a fun movement or control scheme. Um, just start playing with that and seeing where it goes. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the software packages you use? You mentioned Game Maker, some of the other ones. Yeah, I use. Game Maker is like the glue, it's sort of like Unity, I guess. Um, and then for graphics, I use, I don't know, like MS Paint a lot. And graphic Scale is good too. It's like a sprite editing program. Um, SFXer for sound effects. Uh, I don't know, Audacity. Uh, Mappy, Tile Mappy program. Cool. So a lot of like kind of, of the, the more free ones. Yeah. Where, like sub 100 bucks. How do you manage your time and stay on track? Uh, I don't have deadlines. That helps. Makes it easier. <laughs> so I just work when I want to work, I guess. That's cool that you could do it that way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like GDC was a deadline, but. Yeah. Uh, so Needhog has like a really retro look to it. Can you talk a little bit about that art direction and why you went that way? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's sort of like the games I grew up with, and it's sort of a limitation of Game Maker in some ways. If you want to, like, the resolution is only 320 by 160, I think, 120, 320 by 120, 200. <laughs> Something low. But, you know, it's really small, and so uh, I could sort of, like, do a lot of bad programming or, like, graphical stuff on, on top of that without slowing it down too much. Um, and it's easier just to do all the graphics myself. They're really rudimentary and sort of single colors. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the two-player aspect of Needhog and why you went with that gameplay? Yeah, it, it was sort of inspired by Great Swordsman, which is like this old arcade game. Yeah. Um, but I discovered it recently and I was disappointed to find there wasn't a multiplayer, like a two-player multiplayer option. So I just, I started out just trying to make that two-player. And then it ended up being like a lot faster paced and added in other stuff to sort of balance out because they're like, they'd be so short, you'd just stab them and it'd be over. So I started having like you know, multiple spawns and then like when that got boring, a little bit of like tug of war. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so like what advice would you give to people who want to get started in video game development? Um, there's a lot of free software out there that can use. Like Unity has the demo version, the free version. There's Game Maker, there's uh, Click and Play, which came out in the 90s, I think. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff where you can just make the whole game yourself. 
it's like one of like the greatest, latest and greatest 3D games, but uh, it's a lot of fun. And there's communities out there to you know, give you criticism and stuff. So this brings us to our last question, which is kind of like a little bit of a fun thing. If you had to sum up video game design and development in just one word, what would that word be? Um, yeah, I was trying to think. It's like Put a you drug, on the spot. you know. <laughs> uh, it's addicting, I guess. Uh, it's, like addicting. it's less of a hobby as a compulsion. Right. <laughs> All right, well, thanks a lot for your time, and uh, we'll look forward to playing Needhog.